All right, welcome back to PC Building Simulator and welcome back to the Oris Workshop, the Oris Gigabyte Workshop, the Gigabyte Oris Workshop, whatever order you want to say that in. Uh, welcome back to it. This is the first time back in the Oris Workshop since we debuted it. We debuted, I don't know, since we showed it off once uh, it was introduced to the game with version 1.9. But today we're actually going to build in it and we're going to do a comment build. Last week we did some esports. Uh, and now we're gonna do a comment build. I can't put this in here. I have to go all the way to the other side. Wait, 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 wait. Nope, yep, I don't know what that is. I think I have to go all the way over here. I'm not familiar with this place yet. Can I put it? Yeah, store, okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna do a comment build today and we are gonna do a build requested from Alaskian. Alaskian said, bro, your videos are so fire. Thank you. Any way you could make my computer in the game. The CPU is an i5-9600K, the CPU an EVGA CLC 120, 74.82 CFM. I, this is very, very specific CFM number. Uh, wow. Motherboard is a Gigabyte Z370 Aorus Ultra Gaming Wi-Fi ATX LGA 1151 motherboard memory G-Skill Trident ZRGB32. That's two by 16 gig and using DDR4 3200 with cast latency of 16. Woo! Also very specific, I love it. Uh, I can't actually define cast latency in the game. I don't think they even list it, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, they don't even mention cast latency at all. It's not the biggest deal in the world, I guess. Uh, storage, a Transcend 240 gig, two and a half inch solid state drive, and that, as well as a Samsung 860 QVO. I'm wondering if that should be Evo. One terabyte, two and a half inch solid state drive. GPU is a Gigabyte GeForce GTX 970 G1 Gaming. The case is a Thermaltake Core P3 ATX mid tower, and the power supply, a Thermaltake Smart Pro RGB 750 watt. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Alaskan. All right, so let's jump into this. We will start, of course, with the case. And what's really great is we do have, uh, we have thermal tape case in the game, and we have the core series of cases. Uh, I shouldn't really call it a series. We only have the P5. Uh, Alaskan asked for the P3. The P3 and the P5 are very similar. The P5, from what I understand, is a little bit bigger. Supposedly, it's like three times as expensive, which is bonkers, uh, but it's a little bit larger. It supports, you know, larger radiators, larger, uh, a few more fans. Uh, you know, it's a little bit bigger. I don't know, but they're the same general idea. You can wall mount them. You can pop them on a desk with the little feet. Uh, it's kind of cool. So Alaskan, how do you have your setup? If you see this and uh, let me know, I'm curious. Do you have yours wall mounted? Cause that's like so cool. Or do you have it on a stand? I don't know. We're gonna go with the black one cause I'm guessing you don't have like the crazy Hulk green one. And it seems like the black one we're gonna have a little better time uh, with. So I haven't built in the P5 in a while, but this is a fun case to build in. So uh, we are going to slide the panel. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so we're gonna take that off, cool. The back part of the case does just kind of pull off and there's a little bit of a tray around back, sort of like a little kale management tray. We've got a dust filter over that. This is an interesting case too. I'm curious, like, do you run into dust issues? Cause that would be my biggest fear with using this case uh, would be, cause your components are all, you know, very exposed. You've got a panel of glass in the front and everything else is exposed. Your uh, temps are probably great. Airflow is not really an issue, but uh, I, I'd be like worried. I'd be like, dusting my components constantly, but it's a cool case for sure. So motherboard was the Z370 Aorus Ultra Gaming. And what's really awesome is that this game, this, this motherboard is actually in the game. Here it is, the Gigabyte Z370 Aorus Ultra Gaming. It's not specifically the Wi-Fi version. I don't know if it has Wi-Fi or not, but I'm not gonna complain. Nope, I'm not gonna complain at all. I really wish that this, uh, I like the Aorus Workshop, but it's very dark. Like, oh, no, you thought it was dark? No, now it's dark. It's so dark. Like, when I look at the computer, I'm like, it's really hard to see. I like this workshop, but I almost think that I might not do future builds in here because it's it's just a little too dark for people to be able to see what I'm doing. And, like, none of the workstations are any different. Like, they look like they're going to be light, and then you get to them, and it's just, like, kind of dark. Anyway, uh, we're just going to do it anyway for this one. Uh, CPU was the 9600K. 9600K. Nice. What's that? Let me, uh, wait, sorry, I can't remember. Is that 9600K? Is that, uh, six core? Yeah, six core. Six core 12 thread, I think. Hello, hello. We're not gonna, 
Oh no, I shouldn't have backed out. This was a mistake. Uh, 9600. Okay. Okay, that was weird. I don't know. It did not. It didn't like me doing that. Okay, so there's that. We're gonna do two sticks of gigabyte. Uh, G skill, Trend Z, oh, sorry, gigabyte, geez. G skill, Trend Z RGB, 32 gig, 2 by 16. That's some uh, pretty nice memory there. Uh, Trident Z, RGB. I don't know if it's silver, black. I'm going to assume black, but we do also have the. Oh no, do we not have silver RGB? Okay. Wow, really? Why did I think we did? Okay. 16 gig dims there it is 16 gig 3200 megahertz so two of these boop and ba -doop. perfect so that's like a perfect match assuming you know cast latency is 16 but yeah whatever not the biggest in the world let's do a little bit of thermal paste and we'll move on to our cpu cooler which is the evga clc 120 uh so we'll go evga CLC 120, uh, Alaskan says that it's a 74.82 CFM. Uh, this is only a 70 CFM, so I'm sorry. Or maybe they just round down, I don't know. They probably, oh, I wanted to be more specific about where I was putting that. No, I just I just blind clicked, that was that was not good. Let's, let's try that again, let's try that again, let's try that again. Please, 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 please. Yeah, I wanna be, I don't know, I would actually really like to know how you have this mounted, because you've got, some choices in this case, right? Uh, let's just hide this because it's annoying. So you could go here, you can go here, you can go here, and you can go all the way down here. Although you have the P3, so I think you only have three 120 fan mounts. So I'm curious, did you go high, middle, low? You basically have the three spots. I'm gonna go high, I guess? That's basically the only places you can put it. So the only fan mounts you have. This is the power supply mount on there, okay. I guess we'll just go ahead and jump into the power supply. And the power supply, we can also do pretty well on here. So the thermal, I just, yeah, okay, anyway. Uh, Alaskan asked for the Thermaltake Smart Pro RGB 750 watt. We're gonna have to give you a little upgrade, the Thermaltake Smart Pro RGB 850 watt. So, a little upgrade for you. But actually, I will say, RGB power supplies don't make much sense to me because you usually don't see them. But in this case, we're gonna see that this is actually gonna be kind of cool, so. Nice choice. I mean, that's kind of a, that's kind of fun. It's also really interesting. You have like, I never paid attention to that. That power supply has like red. I can't zoom in far enough to read what those are. What, which one of those are red? Maybe, I guess we'll see if we plug in the graphics card. Maybe it's the PCIe power headers. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and switch over to storage. We've got a couple two and a half inch uh, SSDs in this. And the two brands that, that Alaskan mentioned, Transcend and Samsung, don't have, they don't have hard drives in the game, but we're just gonna do something different. We'll say instead of the Transcend, we're gonna go with the A-Data 240 gig SSD. Where do these mount, on the back? Yeah, is that the only place? Oh, you could put one up front. That's kind of fun. Ooh, I might have to do, okay, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do the Transcend along, around back. And by Transcend, I mean the XPG, A-Data, whatever, that one. And then around front, this will be our Samsung that doesn't actually exist. We're gonna do it in front. And uh, Alaskan had a one terabyte uh, Samsung 860 Evo, I'm pretty sure. We're gonna go with Team Group T-Force Delta Max, because I really like this SSD and it's super cool looking. And we're gonna do it front, so we're gonna get an RGB SSD up front. And that's not the same at all. Samsung doesn't have any RGB SSDs, but we're gonna do it anyway, because it's gonna look cool. So there's that. Okay, so we're going on storage. We're going on memory. We got CPU. We got a motherboard. We got cooling. We need a graphics card. We need um, a, um yeah, a gra graphics card. That's it, pretty much. I mean, we could do fans too, though not really super necessary. Um, yeah, not really super necessary. Like you would kind of pull air into this open chassis or push it out. I mean, it would make more sense to put a gigantic radiator here. That's kind of what this is for. You don't really need a ton of case airflow across the, everything's so open. So I mean, that's another benefit. I'm sure temps are pretty good in this case. So let's just switch over to graphics card. I think, I think, I think this case can support either vertical or horizontal. I can't remember. Um, 
but the graphics card that Laskin requested was a Gigabyte GeForce GTX 970. The problem is Gigabyte doesn't have 970s in this game. We've got them from MSI, we've got them from good old Sean. Sean. And we're not gonna put the Sean ones in because that would be silly. So, um, an MSI one, obviously. Uh, do we want to go with, how do we even decide? Golden edition? The golden edition is the highest clocked. Four gig, four gig, four gig. Um, I'm trying to figure out what's gonna look. I mean, we don't really have a color theme, so this is this is gonna be it. Okay, so no, you cannot do, it has to be vertically mounted. Okay, I couldn't remember. And you can go here, far out, or you can go close. That's interesting, and I would obviously go far out, because far out, man. But yeah, because I mean, the closer the glass, the better, right? It's gonna look cool. Not, I mean, not really better for like cooling, but again, cooling's really not gonna be an issue in this case. Let's go 970 again, the golden edition. I don't think I've ever used it. it it's like in the, in, the, in the picture, it looks less red. And then it just kind of looks red here. Wow, that is quite the riser cable. Okay, so yeah, we still have our red ports on our power supply open, so I am not sure what those are for. But at this point, this should turn on. Hey, look at that. I love that SSD. It's so good. I loves, I loves it. All right, let's get our flash drive. We'll reboot this, get the, get the OS installed. And dude, I, I, I gotta say, the Thermaltic power supply is pretty cool. I'm into it, I like it. Let's put our back, right, let's put our dust filter on, and then we'll put this back panel on. So there you go, that's all buttoned up in the rear. Jump over here. All right, so we're gonna get some stuff installed. We'll do a little bit of benchmarking on this, and we'll, uh, we'll see how we do. So got everything all set up here, and we got a 3,679 in 3D Mark. And uh, that's a 3,441 in the graphics and a CPU score of 6,053. So obviously uh, the graphics card's holding the system back a little bit. So if you get the chance to upgrade anything, uh, you'll see some big benefits from upgrading from that 970. Uh, and it really depends on what you're playing, what resolution you're playing at, but yeah, big potential there. Uh, as far as temps go, amazing. Like, the CPU is surprisingly hot. I mean, it's only a 120 mil AIO, but still, I'm kind of surprised. 71 C, that's warm for this game. I wouldn't say it's warm for real life. It's a little warm for this game though. Uh, 55 C on the GPU. What's our power draw at? 700, 273 watts. We're maxed out at 273 watts. Uh, everything with stock clocks, just have the RAM set to XMP settings. So, so there you go. Let's, uh, let's jump over and get our lighting set up because I feel like we kind of need to commit to like red at this point. Maybe, maybe red. 255000, yeah, that's as red. This is R in the GB as it gets. It's funny how that, uh, that power supply is just sort of like not really super red, but, but yeah. So there you go. That is a uh, comment build from Alaskian. And as a reminder, the case is a Thermaltake Core P5. He has for a P3, but we don't have it in the game. The motherboard is Oris's Z370 Ultra Gaming. Uh, we've got a 9600K cooled by the EVGA CLC120. We've got a couple sticks of uh, 16 gig G-Skill Triton Z RGB. We've got a GTX 970 from MSI in here. Asked for gigabyte, but there are no gigabyte. Uh, GTX 970s. He's got a thermal take RGB power supply. Went for 850 watt because we didn't have a 750 watt that he requested. And we got a couple SSDs, a Samsung and a Transcend, which now are an A data and a awesome looking RGB T Force One, actually, which is, I don't have that really cool. I don't have that really cool, um, like, it had like a really cool like gradient effect, but it, I guess I lost it because I went with red. But anyway, so so there you go. Uh, let me know what you think. I'll ask you if you see this, and let me uh, let me know. Let me know what you do with a, a Core P3. Do you have it wall mounted, or do you have it on your desk like it is here? Because it's a pretty cool case, and I bet your temps are magical, and maybe you're really good at dusting. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it works, but either way, uh, thanks for submitting that and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy it and you wanna see more videos like it, be sure to subscribe. Also be sure and be feel free to send me uh, your build ideas and I might feature one of them in a video. So yeah, 
be sure to do that. And either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.